Hello and welcome back. This is Double O Debbie and this is episode 64 of my Direwolf 21.18 Let's Play. And today we're back here at the Blaze Farm. <laughs> I kind of tidied it up a little bit. Uh, straightened everything up. I installed the chest um, that will gather all our items. Don't know if this drops experience, but if it does, we'll see it in here. Uh, and we'll deal with it, I guess. Uh, but I, I got everything set up and working. I can turn everything on with the controller. I have, uh, this is the redstone repeater that works the, the grinder. I can turn that on by putting 15. Wait a minute. Yeah, that's that one. Why isn't it working? Redstone output 15. It is not. It is not doing the thing. Oh, why not? It's output. It was just working. Maybe one of the blocks I placed is messing with it. Um, it looks connected. It's connected. That's like one of the most direct routes uh, there could possibly be. <laughs> uh, I don't see how that could get garbled. Okay, let's try to remove the connector. Create a new one. The output. Okay, what if we try breaking the connector? Placing it. Would that help you? I mean, alternatively, I could just put them all on one channel. Uh, I just thought it would be easier to distinguish them. Like this one is the grinder, these are the fans, and this is the uh, the entity spawner. And now just it stops working all of a sudden. Let's try the fans and see if the fans are working. 15, 15, and 15. No, none of it's working. Oh, because it needs power again sometimes. Uh, it must have had some residual power in there from before. Uh, so, I don't know how to, I, I guess I'll just have to bring a, a battery down there for it. Do I have one over here or is it? That's a good clip. Nope. Where is my battery? Did I put it in my bag? Something silly? Okay, well. Oh, maybe it went up to the thermal expansion chest, which is here. Haha, <laughs> yes. Success has been had. Okay, so it's been a busy day. I haven't had a lot of time to play. Uh, so hopefully this outputs over here to the right. Yes, that should be working now. All right, the fans are working. <laughs> I can see them working 
Don't forget to power your controller. <laughs> and now we need the entity spawner. This is the dilemma I'm having. I put some jelly babies in there before I sealed everything up. I put a full stack in there, but my dilemma is how do I get them in there now? I will have to completely shut everything down to transfer any jelly babies in there. Oh, I forgot to turn the crusher back on. There we go. Another thing I want to do is to get some sharpness upgrades on here and maybe looting. Uh, that would help increase our yield of blaze rods uh, and stuff. Look, we're getting powerful shards. Um, now I can probably just make this a tender chest and just have it sent this stuff directly into the system. That would probably be a good idea. Because then I would just have access to it over there at the base. Which would be nice. Um, What's the dealio with the little guys sitting in the back over there? Um, I thought my fan covered the whole area. Did I miscount? Did I miscount? Oh, I thought I, I thought I covered that. I must have undone that when I moved, when I rearranged the direction of it. Okay, so I need to bring the walls in one. That's going to be a challenge. But what I want to do is maybe I could get some... a node down there to feed into uh, the entity spawner. But I'm gonna have problems because I have the connector underneath it. That's the only way I have to turn it off and on is through the bottom. Uh, but this looks like it's working very well. It will work even better if I scooch my, my sides in one more. Uh, so those two in the back can't just hang about. <laughs> but it looks like it's working awesome. Look at that! 27 blaze rods and I didn't have to endanger my life by going into the nether to get them. Oh, let me tell you uh, words of advice. Don't put your jelly babies in and turn it on until you've sealed the chamber. <laughs> I had I had like 14 or 15 blazes. Luckily I only had 14 or 15 jelly babies in the machine when it summoned everything. Look, it's already gone through 64 jelly babies. What is... how? How are you still alive? Like, is he made of steel or something? Like, oh man, I need upgrades on this. I gotta see, is he a special guy? He is! He's a legendary blaze! Holy cow! Oh, I don't have enough mana. Like, I need to get... Oh, a better way to damage mobs. My spells are showing their age. Woo! Right. See, that just doesn't seem very right. I did a whole stack of jelly babies and I only got 29 blaze rods. But there are still two guys in there. Let's go ahead and uh, turn this guy off. Zero. And let's zero out all the other stuff too. Uh, <laughs> it doesn't want to. Let's just do backspace and it turns to zero. All right, I think I'm ready. Wah! 
sizzle, sizzle. Whew. Okay, so yeah, I gotta fix these sides. Um, so that they can't, I gotta move everything. Oh my goodness. Uh, let's put these in there. So, good times. I got that. I have not been able to work at all on my circuit or trying to figure that thing out. Haven't been able to carry around any buckets of <laughs> source today. So, I guess I should do that and go check on all my farms and stuff. We got 10 full source jars. Um, let me see, do I have any? I have some empty ones. I'm just gonna throw, throw down up there. I have so many source jars. <laughs> it's not even funny. Like, I have so many. And I probably need more. Um, I guess since we're down here, we could go and uh, check on the clay bar. Okay, it hasn't really done anything because I had, uh, I have installed this down here. And it's not really, it's not really working. Uh, I still got all these full jars of source in there. And, yeah, fortunately. So, I'm just going to have to leave some source jars on the surface until I can get that fixed. Uh, now I got four farms, so I guess I can put two here. Oh, I forgot I have all the full ones down there, so maybe I'll put four here. And that can get our play making. I haven't gone to check out my little guys in a long time. Oh my goodness, look! Every single crystal is grown. He must, oh my goodness. Look how long it's been since I've been in here. <laughs> I turned all of these blocks into amethyst and they're just, they're full. Uh, let's do K, 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 K. I wish, can I drag it? No. Yeah, I can. Ooh, snazzy. Snazzy. Okay, they're going to be... Harvesting up a storm. Let me just get all of these. Oh, yeah. <laughs> oh, man. There's so many. I can't even turn them into... I can't push K because there's no empty spots. Now there should be. Ooh. Ooh. Yes, I definitely, I should probably take some of these up. Uh, you can't actually break these down by hand. You can't turn them back into shards. But I believe you can uh, uh, maybe do some, some way to break them back down. Oh, if you use a cutting board and a pickaxe, you can cut them back down. That's interesting. That's pretty cool. Um, oh, the multi-servo press. We could do it like that if we, need, if we absolutely need to. Uh, maybe I'll get some more of those. Wow, <laughs> I really need to set that auto crafting thing up. Uh, I believe I should probably have a, oh yeah, a whole bunch of these too. Um, get some of these. Oh man. I got 
so much stuff. I didn't mean to do that. All right, let's go. <laughs> this doesn't take anything to run, but let's go put our jars at our other farms and see how they're doing. Oh, but I can just beat Bop up. Sometimes it brings me all the way up to the top, and sometimes it doesn't. Oh, I think if it lined up just right, it, it puts me up there, even though I can't even see it. So that's crazy. I guess um, I still haven't put uh, an ender chest. I know I did. I did put an ender chest over here, didn't I? No, I didn't. I need to. Uh, Spidey? No. Um, I guess I could just throw this stuff in. It should go where it's supposed to go. But, um, I don't think this is harvesting anything. For one, it's full. And he should be, like, out of mana now. Uh, I believe. I, I'm not going to... Have, I have a system down here, too. Uh, it actually has the jar. It never broke the jar. So, yeah, I recorded a bunch of episodes yesterday. Boy, I just was not having a good day. Uh, so, I wound up scrapping all of them. Uh, so, I just went with the the mob farm because I couldn't I couldn't decide what to do so let's get a couple i guess we got three more farms and six jars so we'll put i guess right here is good boink yeah i put i put that system at all my farms i was trying really hard to get that to work and it just uh the the circuit appears to be working like it should. It's just not uh, the the turrets are not working properly. I don't believe. I I think it's something kinky. Like they they don't want you to be able to teleport your jars around like that so they made it to where your block placers can't actually place them here you go you can have some mana too uh cool now we got that taken care of um oh i got got the small source jars. Uh, oh, I can take those back down and set them out so that they can get full too. We've already got full jars in here. That's how good this thing works. Two full jars. And this could probably uh, use some upgrades as well because I don't... I think I got a couple of sharpness upgrades on there. I don't have... Uh, like any fortune or anything on there so that would be a good thing to get uh, but yeah we did this stuff and this stuff I haven't even had a chance to to look at the other block breaking devices I saw this from modular routers it's a module so I think there might be something in modular routers that can like break a block. And then there's the destructor from our fine storage. And I know we have like integrated dynamics uh, that also should be able to break a block. There's a redstone machine reader, inventory fluid block reader i think uh you combine like a block storage terminal all kinds of 
things you could get to do with this. Uh, world energy, world fluid, world block importer, world block exporter. Uh, I think there's some way you can break a block. I would have to read about that again. Um, they also, I updated my pack, so I now have, um, uh, oh my goodness, it's Mine Factory Reloaded, but I can't ever remember the name. It's, uh, no, it's not integrated, it's, Oh my goodness. Um, I want to say foundation. Oh my goodness. Hang on, just let, let me, let me do the thing because my brain is not working. Okay, sorry about that. It's industrial foregoing and I'm pretty sure, uh, they have... Still listing. Okay, yeah, these are all. I'm pretty sure they have a block breaker in in industrial foregoing. I'm fairly certain. I'm like 92% certain that there's a block breaker uh, that would work in this instance. Um, it might be down here. These are the black holes. It looks like that's all that's there. Oh, they got a backpack too. Um, it looks like they got all kinds of tools. Let's see if we can say break. Haha, -ha, I was correct. They got a block breaker that we could use to break the blocks. Uh, oh, and I think uh, we're not having a problem really breaking it. It's the placing it. And they do have a block placer too. The saw and a fluid placer. This is great. Um... So if I make this, theoretically, I should be able to get that circuit to break the blocks when it's supposed to and then keep my system going for me. Uh, I think I should try it right now because I, I really want this to work. Um, I love doing all the magic in this mod pack. It's been really fun. Uh, figuring things out. So, but I think I'm, I might have to go into uh, industrial foregoing to get the pity machine frame. Everything else looks, oh, it's the plastic too. But I might, I wonder if, can I sub my other rubber or does it have to be the tiny dry rubber? Because that's just. I really don't like this part of industrial foregoing. I preferred the rubber trees. <laughs> I really did. I would rather chop down the rubber trees all day than create this machine to uh, make latex. Uh, so... Yeah, it looks like that's the only way you can only make a tiny dry rubber with the latex processing unit. Uh, and the latex processing unit also takes a pity machine frame, so you have to get the... Uh, what are those machines called? Oh, I built these like in my ocean block too, but uh, 
I mostly like made them and then forgot about them. <laughs> uh, it's it should be though the fluid extractor uh, that power is optional. I like it that they've got it right here at the very start at the top so you can find that easily. But how can it Okay, so that one doesn't take latex, and that one doesn't take latex. Um, let's get our fluid extractor. We're gonna need a latex processing unit, but I think we have to we have to make the fluid extractor first. Um, let me see. And there's a manual. That might be good to have as well in case they change things. Because I see like new icons for their add-ons, the range upgrades. These all look brand new. They got 12 tiers. And they got a speed tier one and tier two, efficiency tier one and tier two, processing tier one and tier two. Okay, so none of that has changed. And none of the basic, like, plastic stuff has changed. So, oh, I wish I would have had this mob imprisonment tool. I could have set up, you know, my whole uh, system <laughs> oh, completely differently with uh, industrial foregoing in there. Next, I know how to use this mod. I've been playing with it since it was Mine Factory Reloaded. Uh, I think the, the real first time I played with it was back in Crash Landing and Agrarian Skies 1. And I absolutely loved it. Um, it's not just that it automates a lot of things, it's that it works. <laughs> it's not janky. You don't have to fiddle with it. You set it down and you work. It, it just works. I love it. So let's get some supplies, I guess, to get uh, our fluid extractors going. We need, uh, I guess, it's it's best to have, like, you can, you can get four of these machines on one block. You could probably get five or six if you really try but then how are you going to get uh, so I think if you do uh, three then you could get like a block placer on the other side uh, to place the block so I'll probably do uh, three of these just so I don't have an extra one line so we need three gold plates and three pistons. Uh, that's six gold, three of yous, and three of yous. Um, also, like I, I don't know why I took all of my wood out. I think it was because I was running out of room uh, <laughs> in my bag, and I am, I am definitely running out of room. I'm gonna like take some of this stuff out. get it out of there uh, like the tinted glass I just used maybe some of these signs that little bit of stuff I want to keep the food um I guess I don't need these whirly sprigs or the trowel I tried the trowel uh, it's a really cool little thing from cork uh if you're doing any type of uh, what would you call that texturizing like um, giving your pass different textures so that it's not just cobble um, you can have a bunch of different blocks on your hot bar and your trowel and when you go to you can be on your trowel 
and it will select a random block from the blocks on your hotbar to place down. So you can just do 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 do, do that. Uh, but I I do like the block exchanger, so I don't really need. I think the block exchanger is a lot better because then I I don't have to have the stuff in my inventory. It's all in the little uh, pocket storage devices. So that's good. <laughs> now I need to get some wood. Just gonna get, get like a whole stack. Um, and maybe make a whole stack. So I have it. Now I can make my pistons. Three pistons. Uh, three golden pressure plates. Now what else? Uh, oh, that's the wrong block. I need this one. Uh, we need 12 iron. And oh, that's we need three pity machine frames. Uh, so we need three blocks of redstone and let's just get like all the redstone. Do, 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 do. One, two, three. Boop. And then is it going to show up in the list? With the pity machine frame? It is! Three pity machine frames. And then should be able to make these guys. Um, now, I think uh, they changed this to where certain types of wood gives different amounts of latex. Um, I don't know. Let's see. Uh, fluid extractor. Here we go. Uh, this does four millibuckets and it tells you that it's tripled when it's powered. That's kind of cool. Uh, but acacia gives four millibuckets, which is twice as much as spruce. Um, and oak and birch. Um, dark oak is three, so if you don't have uh, the acacia and you have the dark oak, the dark oak is still a little bit more than everything else. I guess anything else will give you, like, I guess you could send your stripped logs back through there. I'm guessing that what is what that means. I don't know. Uh, but yeah, so I believe I've had my little guy getting some acacia occasionally. Do I have acacia? There's, there is acacia wood, but it's uh, acacia wood. I don't know if that will work. Let's do this. Use. Does it show a little picture of the doodad? Wood extractor. It only gives one because it's the wood. It's not the actual acacia log. Bum deal. Okay, so I guess I will just have to do uh, the dark oak then. I wasn't really, uh, I thought I put acacia over there. Is there any way to change this back into uh, logs? I guess not. I don't know. I thought I put acacia trees over there. Maybe I just haven't gotten very many. Did I not put acacia? Yeah, I did. I got acacia right there. And there's, there's some acacia. I'll just nab that real quick. Might as well use it. I don't know what else I would use it for. Um, <laughs> this, uh, this blaze farm is going to help us so much, uh, 
but I do still need to figure out a way to get the jelly babies in there. Although, you know, with the industrial foregoing, I could set up a different mob system that doesn't need jelly babies. Um, and that I could all, I could interact with the machines without going into the pit of doom. <laughs> um, okay, so getting this set up to get some latex i wonder where where the heck i should put this i haven't really been preparing for another mod but this uh industrial foregoing has its own machines too and i need like a little area to set up with it i guess um doot, doot and shoot. so maybe I'll just come over here a little bit oh <laughs> um, yeah I remember this this used to be some calcite deposits It's not a calcite deposit anymore. And is this three? No, that's four. One, two more. Too, too much. Um, maybe we'll go back three more and that should be enough, right? Just to get a little bit. I'll straighten up in here later. What is this? Uh, it's the outside world. We don't want that in here. <laughs> um, page light. Awesome. Okay, so get that torch out. Let's get our, I guess we can just do it right here, um, but you're facing the wrong way. Um, oh no! <laughs> okay, so it's facing, wait, nope. Okay, and a boom. And now uh, I could put like a block placer back here and it would just place blocks for me. But until then, we have to do it this way. But I also need to gather this because it'll be a lot faster if I can pull all of these machines together into one tank. Uh, so. Ooh, I forgot about a tank and some pipes. I should have pipes on me. That would be great. Um, yeah, I think that should be enough. Just go boop, 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 and a boop. And then we can put the tank right on top here. Um, I think I still have some extra singularity tanks that, yeah. That should do the trick. I mean, I could probably even I think it's five of those. Make a big take. Big take. No? Okay. Um, I'm pretty sure that you could use these. Oh, yeah. Why couldn't I do that? thought I would have seen the recipe. Oh yeah, let's sleep. This is great. So, uh, we'll be able to have some plastic, hopefully, to work with 
next episode uh, so that we can get some of those block uh, placers uh, laid down and hopefully that will work with the circuit and we'll be able to live the easy life you know what I mean <laughs> um, be living large I'm trying to remember what I need and I need my little pipe wrench so I can tell these guys to export a boop um it's got it in there I wonder how much it is is it enough for a bucket because I think you need a bucket it's not can I tell how much is in there 384 okay so <laughs> it's working it's working uh so I will probably, hopefully I'll get a little bit more time to play tomorrow and be able to let this thing run and get us some latex. But for now, I gotta, I gotta go ahead and log off and get ready for work. Anyway, thank you for watching and we'll see you next time. Bye-bye!